Hello and welcome to Friday. We have been on a semi-mission for like two days straight to try and find um, a DDR machine in the Myrtle Beach area. And we looked a little bit for like the past two days and then we actually continued to look a little bit this morning and we had been told that there was a DDR machine for sure in Cherry Grove. And we were like, awesome, because we wanted to play DDR. So after having looked online and called around a few places and been told that the machines that I had known about and had been there for like a decade were gone, we went to the place in Cherry Grove and we walked in and there it was. It was there. Dance Dance Revolution. It was broken. So... <laughs> So I asked the person running it, I was like, uh, you know, is there, when is it going to be fixed? And they're like, ah, like a week. And I'm like, okay. So apparently, like, you know, 10 years ago, there seriously was 10 machines or so. And uh, now we're to the point where there's one machine and it's broken. And I don't really know how long it's been broken. It could have been broken for a long time. But, yeah. So we didn't get to play DDR out in the real world. But we got to play DDR here. Unfortunately, the problem is the mats are all bad. <laughs> there, there's a timing issue, a little bit of a timing issue connected to the TV, but then also the mats are like from a decade ago and they've kind of broken. So now we're just kind of chilling out and playing something. I just sat down and got roped into the sushi, sushi go. go. I don't know how to play it. It's your hands. Yeah? You were watching us, so you should have figured it out. It's is that how games work? It's really not that hard. It's it's a drafting game, mm -hmm. apparently. You pick Whatever a card drafting is. that you think will give you good points, and you put it face down, and then we all flip, and then you pass your hand. Okay, so we'll show some of the example, like the points. So, like, you, these are all worth points? Various points. Okay. Look, and I they just... have cute pictures. So so they each have points. Some, some cards are just straight-up points. Um... Okay. Can I show my hand? No, it's fine. No, I, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll okay, figure okay, it out. Okay. So, I'll so figure some out. points have just normal points, like one, <laughs> two, three. And some, some you need a combo. Some you need a combo, so you need two temperos to oh, get five points. Oh, yeah, yeah, they say that, two X. Um, some, like pudding, uh, the person with the most gets six points, the person with the least, that includes having none, gets okay. negative six. Um, sometimes they need three. Wasabi's a multiplier. You lay it down first, and then later you'll put a nigiri yeah. on top. And you can only put nigiri on wasabi. Yeah. Okay. But, but only, but you can only put one. You can't put more than. You can't keep stacking. Yeah. Uh. Sure. I and mean, the worst that can happen is I just get some rules wrong, but it's fine. Okay. And dumplings. If you have one, you just get one. If you get two, you get three, and so Total. on and so forth. Okay. So if you had three, you get six, four. Ten. And if you have chopsticks, you can put them back to take two cards on a go around. And if you have sashimi, you need three sashimi to get their full points. Okay, well now that I know Dan's full hand, I'm sure I'll do good. All right, they're over here. I got them. I got it. Okay. I got it right here. So, what do we need? Mushrooms, mushrooms, mushrooms. Two. This is the third mushroom. You don't need any more mushrooms. Either. All right. No, onions, good. onions, onions. Put the mushrooms off the board, please. So for dinner, we've come over to Clark's uh, Seafood and Chop House, not to be confused with Clark's Fish Camp, which was a place that we ate once with Dan in Florida. The reason that they are kind of related is that they're both named Clark's, and they both serve alligator. Um, so we've actually started the, uh, the meal off with alligator, and this is the first time that both Chaz and Jeff have tried alligator. What do you think? I'm a fan. Yeah. It's it's pretty similar to chicken. It's game it's a game here richer flavor than chicken. Yeah. Yeah, it's um it's good stuff. This is one of the only places I think that you can get it kind of consistently in uh, the Myrtle Beach area. They not, it's not always available, but it seems like it mostly is. Otherwise we um I don't know, we got like steaks, crab cakes, chicken coming. Chicken. Oh yeah, you got the hurricane. Yeah, I got the Dan Dan has chicken tower coming. Chicken tower. I mean, also other things. Also, it's what is it? Is it risotto on the bottom? Yeah. Some risotto, chicken, asparagus, crab cake, shrimp. But we call it chicken tower. Chicken's the base. What'd you get? It's called pork tata. It's got a crispy exterior. 
Oh. Some spices on it. Oh, interesting. Um, pork shake. Yeah, I've never had that. It looks good though, I like pork. You want crab cakes, which is a great decision, because I've had that before. There we are. Thank Woo! You. So yours just arrived. You got me and you got the same thing, except you got risotto and Oscar style. Yes. And I just got I got French fries. I was in the mood for some fries. We watched Mystery Science the other three thousand online together on the internet, but tonight we can watch it in person because we're in person uh, and we're gonna toast some marshmallows over a stove which is kind of sad because we actually have the fire pit for it but we didn't get any wood so uh, we're just gonna do it this way to be honest I don't even really care if mine's toasted I just thought about it I could just like squash that down and eat it well I was, we can just also microwave yeah they can also be microwaved but I'm just I don't even know if I really need I'm mine curious. hot I'm curious if this is going to work I'm willing to try it Oh, we've done it before. Oh, okay. Yeah, it works. It just, you don't really get the, the feeling of the great outdoors. Well, yeah. that's fine. <laughs> Gingerbread Marvin Horatio. <laughs> I just saw that Extravaganza. Fez Fezikio. There's one that's just fish. Hugh Janus. Oh, shut Hugh up. Hugh Janus. There's one called Hugh Janus. Oh, yep, there he is. That's it for today. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And um, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? <laughs>